Thank you, Mr. Mendoza. Mr. DeVore. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. I would like to um, address a couple of the comments made by two of my distinguished colleagues from the County of Los Angeles. To the point about five people standing in the way of a tax increase on the hardworking people of the state of California, I would like to suggest that it is not with five people with whom you have your quarrel, but with the people of the state of California themselves who, in their wisdom, in 1978 passed Proposition 13, which enshrined in our state constitution Article 13, which makes it very specific that tax increases require a two-thirds majority of both houses of this legislature. So really what it comes down to is that it's not enough. It's not enough that we, in the last 10 years, have more than doubled overall state spending, about double the rate of population plus inflation in this state, it is not enough that we have the highest income tax rate in the country. It is not enough, evidently, that we have the highest gas tax in the country, the highest state sales tax rate in the country, the highest corporate tax in the Western United States with property taxes at the national average. No, evidently, we need more. And that's what it's coming down to. So in this discussion, let us not forget, ladies and gentlemen, that we now have the third highest unemployment rate in the nation. And if you want to make it vie for number one, all you have to do is increase the economic burden on the people of the state of California. And then we can be number one in that category, too. So I would just like to remind everyone that we gave a solemn oath in this chamber to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California. So if I may humbly suggest that perhaps your quarrel is with the Constitution and not with any members in this body, I urge a no vote.